I use a drug called metatomidine and zolazepam, tylenol. It's a combination cocktail drug which um, relaxes the muscles and um, causes um, sedation. Um, and it's not a full anesthesia, so we cover their eyes because the, the drugs cause midriasis where the pupil dilates and if the sun comes into the eye, then it damages the retina. And it also prevents stimulus as well. I always give an antibiotic because where a dart goes in the potential of an abscess forming, we, you'll see that Nicholas will treat the, the dart wound and handle all that. Um, I get, I, because they've been in captivity, they haven't been exposed to the environment. We give them some vitamins and minerals like vitamin A because they haven't been getting that luck out in the wild. But they would, even in the wild, they would chew on herbs and grasses and stuff to get that. So they wouldn't get that in a bone or in cavities. So we'll give them some vitamins, we'll give them an antibiotic, or treat the diet we or fit the color. We normally take a bit of time doing that because when we release them, they tend to lose weight. And if the collar becomes too loose, you know, you tend to get it stuck in the mouth, which causes lots of trauma. So we got to be very, the collar fitting is the most important. So we measure the collar according to what the collar is now. If it's too tight <coughs> now because I've picked up some weight, I'll keep it that tight because I know they'll lose some weight again when they get out. But then they'll gain it and they'll gain muscle mass. So it's a fine line, but those are drop off collars. So at any stage they can drop off as well. Right? So it's not something you have to redart them with. All right, so yeah, you can, it's a GPS and a VHF collar. The VHF frequency we track them from the ground, but also once we this this only works in a, like a 500 meter or yeah. kilometer radius, you know. So you get the points on GPS, and then you can track them with VHF for closer points, especially as they're moving. But with leopards, it's virtually impossible to do it. Um, in that way, if you want to retrieve a collar, so a drop of collar is ideal. You know. even, even if you get exactly that point from a helicopter, I've done it a few times, but it's very tricky to dart a leopard. Right? So, um, yeah. They